Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. In the first video, I talked about Helicobacter pylori, or what's called H. pylori, and what it is and what it does. There's a number of ways of testing for H. pylori. The most common test that most doctors will run is something called an H. pylori antibody test, where they look at what are called antibodies, these immune proteins that are generated by our immune system to the presence of an infection, whether it's a bacteria or a virus. The most common one that's done by most labs is called an IgG antibody to H. pylori. The problem with that is IgG is only indicative of exposure to H. pylori. It doesn't give you really an idea if there's an active infection. So even with that test, you still have to correlate it to symptoms. Now some labs will also do an IgA and an IgM antibody to H. pylori, but oftentimes you have to request that. Those are important because IgM is actually a marker of active immune activity or immune activity against an active infection. And IgA is also part of that complex as well. Okay, so IgA, IgM, and IgG are the common blood tests that are done for H. pylori. There's also a breath test that can be done, difficult to do with kids, small kids particularly. So that's not something that's often used in the pediatric population, certainly not in the autism population either. Some of the labs are doing stool testing for H. pylori, um, looking at what are called antigen staining or an antigen test. Um, one of the labs I use is called BioHealth Diagnostics, and they have a panel called a 401, which is a stool pathogen panel, that when you add the H. pylori component to it, it's called a 401H, it not only becomes a great test for parasites, looking for things like Giardia, Cryptosporidium, Blastocystis hominis, and Tamoeba histolytica, but it also has a stool antigen test for H. pylori. And if that stool antigen is present, it's very good evidence that H. pylori active infection is, uh, is present. So I often will do that um, as an add-on stool test for kids on the autism spectrum to look for the presence of H. pylori and also to look for the presence of other parasites that may be missed by other stool tests. So uh, those typically are, are the, the major tests that are done, the blood testing, the breath testing, uh, and the stool testing. The ones that are most common in the autism community would certainly be doing stool testing uh, and the blood testing as well. I realize with some small kids it's difficult to get blood and again if your doctor is only going to run H. pylori IgG in my experience that's not going to be enough. They need to at least do the IgM and the IgA antibody uh, and even better than that would be to add on a stool H. pylori antigen test as well. Thanks.